My name is Philip Kaschner. I'm a neurosurgeon um, and a surgical neuro-oncologist from Munich in Germany. So after surgery, which is the first step of therapy for patients with newly diagnosed glioblastoma, um, patients are frequently entering clinical trials and we know that exome resection matters in terms of um, outcome and we need to um, quantify exome resection to not introduce any prognostic imbalances between uh, clinical uh, trials and between study arms within an individual trial. However, besides exome resection, there are certainly also other interactive uh, factors um, to be considered, such as the patient uh, function, um, the age, uh, or molecular markers, such as the MGMT promoter methylation status. And in our work, we, uh, based on a cohort of more than 1,000 newly diagnosed glioblastoma patients, we developed a risk model which integrates all of those markers, so external resection uh, measured per uh, Reno categories for external resection, age, MGMT promoter methylation status, and the functional status of the patient to develop risk categories. And each individual patient can be classified based on the presence or absence of the prognostic factors into an individual risk category. And uh, this risk category stratifies patients whether they are at low, at intermediate, or at high risk for a less favorable uh, postoperative outcome. And this risk model um, and the prognostic value of this risk model um, held true also in external validation cohort. We entitled this risk model the uh, RENO uh, risk categories for postoperative outcome. So the response assessment in neuro-oncology, and this is what RENO stands for. And we believe that this might be an important tool uh, to uh, use in the clinical trial setting. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to OncaDaily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.